Hello, good evening guys, Basuraman here. So tonight we're going to feature one of the oldest green monsters and his name is Billy. So Billy is a melee tank that deals physical damage and he is a great initiator. He offers a very great value at turn 1. However, this uh, his usefulness falls down very quickly on the succeeding turns. So if you're using Billy in your starting team, you better capitalize uh, fast uh, on the advantage that he offers at turn 1 and try to finish the game as soon as possible. So uh, looking at his stats, uh, you can see here uh, his stats at level 21. So he has uh, maybe average HP, below average damage, and pretty common 2-2 uh, two -two defense and 30 initiative and 3 mobility. So you can see nothing flashy in his stats, uh, you can say it's below average, but his passive here makes him maybe perhaps the strongest tune at turn 1. So uh, his passive uh, gives him a plus 1 armor, making him 3-3 three, three armor, plus 20 initiative, making him make, giving him 50 total, and uh, mobility increases by 2, giving him 5 mobility. So with the 5 mobility, he's able to reach uh, most of the map, especially on the open maps. So that makes him the great initiator that he is. And also the stun, <laughs> he, it, this enables him to stun any target that he chooses uh, most of the time. And it, so most of the time also it gives you the last call. And it lets you stun the, uh, the, the most important toon of the enemy team. His, uh, his ultimate, Shockwave, it emits a shockwave that damages and stuns the target and up to 8 enemies positioned directly behind it. Okay. So it deals 100 damage and stuns the target and all of the enemies behind it in a straight line. So it's a good uh, target, it's a good ult that requires positioning and if, if you remember, uh, it used to have uh, to require 5 energy but the few of these before they lowered it to, uh, to cost just 4 energy and it's a welcome change because uh, now we're able to use it uh, one turn earlier and also sometimes you can use it up to two times in a single match also uh, he used to have a 3-1 armor and the plus they tweak it a bit to become a 2-2 and the plus one magic defense is, uh, I think it's also a buff because it makes him a lot stronger against the more common uh, uh, um, enemy, uh, against the more common tunes in the meta today, such as uh, Shady and Duraham and Blocky. Okay. So let's, we're going to, uh, to check uh, two matches uh, featuring Billy in the starting lineup. So first it's against Pikachu. So he was using here Death, Duraham and um, Shading. So because of this, uh, this is a relatively open map, I was able to stun Mudman and block Shady at the same at the same time. So uh, this is uh, this is full of mistakes from his part, but it's, uh, it's still an interesting match just to show you the uh, the usefulness of Billy, especially against this lineup. Okay, so one mistake that he did, he he attacked uh, Billy using with Duraham and put Shady on that position. I think he was trying to block Duraham with Shady, given that given that Shady has a uh, three armor against Blocky. I don't know what he was thinking, but then he <laughs> he decided to attack Bushi in the next turn. So he was almost a uh, killing. Uh, Killing Wushi, but then he forgot about my last summon. I summoned Wushi. I summoned Ares to kill the totem and the furball that's about to kill me, Wushi. So uh, by that time, I had full HP for a possible kill on Shady, but it did not crit. Still, I had a great position here, and uh, basically the game is almost over here with my blocky right in the middle of his team, and his Shady almost uh, almost dead there. So let's fast forward it. Uh, she, he should have surrendered here uh, actually. And so although uh, Ares was a great summon there, the, I think the real MVP of this match is Billy and how he neutralized uh, two of the enemy ranged in turn one. Okay. So on the next turn, uh, the next game we're going to watch here an enemy using uh, Duraham. 
Nisi and Bigfoot in the starting team and he last called Shady. Okay. So here I cannot reach Duraham but I was able to reach Nisi so I stunned her instead. So I was able to kill uh, effectively one UAR from Missy and making her useless. Okay. So he summoned Shady and I was able to pull off two attacks from a blocky. But since uh, I was blocking his Missy, uh, the block, the attack that was supposed to be from a blocky was absorbed uh, basically by my, uh, by my blue and uh, it makes my blocky a lot more dangerous here. So you can see uh, I'm already in a very um, advantageous, advantageous position. Although his Duraham is safe inside that inside this formation, I'm still a uh, way, way, uh, way deep in in the enemy line. So he did one mistake here, there. He moved his missile, so giving my Billy access to his Duraham uh, right there in the back line. So uh, this is a. Uh, already. I, if you can notice what I'm doing, I'm just uh, distributing the damage for an eventual uh, three-man stun by my Billy. So it helped that my Missy and my Big, that that his Missy and his Bigfoot uh, moves after my Billy. So that enabled me to pull off that great three-man stun. Three-man stun. So that's it. That's the game. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video and uh, that's it. Goodbye.